standard enthalpy of formation delta G uh, 80 F and uh, what it is and um, the definition and what are we going to do with this we will just go ahead and learn so let's start with the definition of standard enthalpy of formation the symbol is delta H 0 F so it is the heat change that results when one mole of a compound is formed from its elements in their standard states so it's important that we have only one mole on the product side and it should be formed from its elements the element should be in their standard state and the delta H formation for an element in the stable standard state is zero that means the delta H zero F for oxygen will be zero and the standard state of oxygen is O2 gas and not O so you have to know the standard state of some of the common elements hydrogen nitrogen oxygen f2 chlorine fluorine chlorine they are uh, stable as a diatomic molecule and in gas state bromine uh, diatomic and mercury are the only two liquids iodine is again diatomic but its state is solid and carbon is written as solid but the actual stable state is graphite or we call as a standard state sulfur those written as a solid the standard state for sulfur is rhombic sulfur standard enthalpy formation uh, for equations so you have been asked to write the standard enthalpy of formation for water liquid water liquid forms from hydrogen and the standard elements from which it forms is hydrogen and oxygen therefore I will write hydrogen gas the standard state of hydrogen plus oxygen gas and I need to balance this when you are balancing such equation you cannot have any number on the product side therefore I add half an oxygen on the reactant side the next uh, compound which is asked is calcium nitrate and calcium nitrate forms from calcium solid and nitrogen gas these are the standard state of calcium and nitrogen and when they combine and I need one more ele uh, uh, element that's oxygen and the standard state of oxygen is O2 gas and when you balance it I have six oxygen so it gets three oxygens on the reactant side and uh, the next example is Ag2SO4 and um, uh, mercury the standard state is liquid and when it uh, the other elements present there is sulfur the standard state of sulfur is sulfur rhombic but sometimes we write it as just sulfur solid also and the uh, one more uh, thing which is left over there is oxygen the standard state of oxygen being O2 and to balance the oxygen I put 2 uh, in front of oxygen and this is the standard heat enthalpy formation equation for Hg2SO4 the next one is C2H5COOH and the elements in that is carbon, oxygen and hydrogen and uh, they are written in their standard forms O as, as O2 and H as H2 and the next one is nitric acid liquid and uh, which is formed from its elements nitrogen, oxygen, hydrogen in their standard state and the back appropriate balancing is also done. Sulfuric acid is made of hydrogen, sulfur and uh, oxygen and the balancing is done only on the reactant side because the product should have only one mole. Let's do the enthalpy of a reaction and from the uh, enthalpy of formation. The definition is enthalpy of a reaction is the um, enthalpy of formation of the product minus enthalpy of formation of the reactants. So the question is calculate the enthalpy of the reaction for the following reaction. Calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide giving you calcium carbonate. You are given the enthalpy of formation of calcium oxide carbon dioxide and calcium carbonate so we know the equation the enthalpy of a reaction is the formation of the product minus enthalpy of formation of the reactant so enthalpy of the reaction becomes uh, enthalpy of formation of calcium carbonate minus the sum of the enthalpies of uh, formation of carbon dioxide and calcium oxide so once I write the equation write down the substitute all the values into it and get the value for uh, enthalpy of the reaction. Calculate delta H0 reaction for the following reaction. 
the reaction given is um, combustion of sucrose C12H22O11 to give you carbon dioxide and water. And then the, val the uh, uh, enthalpy of formation of sucrose, carbon dioxide and water is given. The enthalpy of formation of oxygen is not given because at standard state the enthalpy of formation of oxygen is equal to 0. And we know the delta H of the reaction is product minus reactant. So the products are carbon dioxide and water. Reactant is sucrose and oxygen. And uh, in this case, you see that I have multiplied the enthalpy of formation of carbon dioxide by 12 and enthalpy of formation of water by 11. So this is something you should not forget to do. So whenever an equation is given, balance it and the enthalpy of formation should be multiplied by that number. So then the whole question becomes simple, substitute the values and get the value of delta H0 reaction. And uh, basically this is the uh, heat of combustion for sucrose. Now this question has a second part also. The second part is calculate the heat released when 125.0 gram of uh, sucrose C12H22O11 is burnt. So, we start with uh, whatever is given 125.0 grams of sucrose and uh, one mole of sucrose the mass is a smaller mass that is 342.30 and we know from the equation one mole of sucrose gives a uh, entire heat of 5644.1 that's what we just calculated and uh, substitute all the values we will get the value of uh, for 125 grams. The heat of combustion of heptane is 4820 kilojoules per mole. Calculate the heat of formation of heptane. You are given the heat of formation of carbon dioxide and water. And the equation for combustion of heptane is also given. And uh, check before starting whether the equation is balanced. So then uh, the write down the equation for delta H0 uh, reaction. Product minus reactant. And remember to multiply the heat of formation of carbon dioxide by 7, heat of formation of water by 8, heat of formation of oxygen will be 0 and then the heat of formation of uh, heptane C7H16 is the one you have to calculate. You have all the other values, substitute them in and get the heat of formation for heptane. calculate the heat of formation of liquid ethanol using the following. So they are given three equations carbon plus oxygen giving you carbon dioxide, hydrogen plus half oxygen giving you water and ethanol plus oxygen giving you carbon dioxide and water. The delta H0 for each of the reaction is given. Now the first step you will do is they are asking you to calculate the heat of formation of ethanol. So I will write the equation for it. Ethanol is C2H5OH. So it is formed from its element carbon, oxygen and hydrogen. And I have therefore when balancing it 2 carbons plus half of oxygen and 3 hydrogen. So basically this I need the this reaction uh, finally and the delta H for this reaction. So now let us go and look at the equation which is given over there. The first equation is the one which has carbon in it and uh, since I need two carbons I will multiply the first equation by two and uh, the second equation has the hydrogen in it and since I need three hydrogens I will multiply the second equation by three. The third equation is the one which is going to give me C2H by OH and that being in the reactant side and I want it in the product side. So I will reverse it and um, so when I do all these things the equations I get now is written in blue over there and uh, accordingly the value of delta H is also changed and the delta H for the last uh, equation the ethyl alcohol equation is also the sign is changed. So now if you uh, look at these three equations you realize that the carbon dioxide uh, gets cancelled and then we have the water there water also gets cancelled and whatever is left over add it up and you will see that you get the required equation the heat of the equation for the heat of formation of ethanol 
and uh, adding up all the delta H values gives me the heat of formation of ethanol. 